This video will help us better understand what is happening in Iraq right now and why the people are protesting. We all realize that protest is never a good thing in Iraq. In the Middle East, most personal status laws are based on religion, but Iraq's personal status law number 188 passed in 1959 is less so. In essence, Iraq's personal status law replaced Sunni and Shiite Muslim religious courts with a civil judiciary that interpreted Islamic law in a more liberal way. Politicians affiliated with conservative Shiite Muslim parties are now trying to change this. As a result, a coalition of activists, politicians, and human rights organizations organized protests all around Iraq last weekend under the banner Alliance 188 named after the law. The draft bill was read in Parliament on August 4. Some of the protesters have been harassed. Police had to separate angry groups of demonstrators in the city of Najaf. Personal status law would be changed by the proposed new bill. Couples would be able to choose between civil courts and religious courts, whether Sunni or Shiite, if the changes are approved. According to those who support the amendment, many marriages in Iraq are only ever performed by local clerics, and they're accepted as legitimate, despite not being legally recognized. Those opposed to the change argue that the choice of legal system could lead to potentially damaging interpretations of Islamic law. According to Iraqi law, the legal age for marriage is 18. But activists argue that children as young as nine may be married under religious rules. Underage marriage is already a problem in Iraq. The United Nations estimates that one-third of Iraqi women marry before they are 18. Human Rights Watch stated in its March report that unregistered marriages performed by clerics function as a loophole around legal restrictions on child marriage. As a result of this law change, opponents say women's rights will be rolled back. For instance, the husband will have more power since he will get to choose which religious rules to follow. In addition to dividing Iraqi society, separate legal systems could inflame sectarian tensions and degrade the state of the judiciary in the country. There have been failed attempts to change the personal status law in the past, including 2003, 2005, 2014, and 2017. However, experts believe the law can pass this time because of a political deal between opposing parliamentary factions. During the last time this issue was raised, Sunni politicians opposed changing the law. But now they want to pass their own bill, what's known as an amnesty bill, which would forgive former members of the extremist Islamic State or IS group. Shiite Muslim politicians have previously opposed that move. Insiders, however, claim the two groups have agreed to support each other's bills. The channel is not sure how this will play out but we'll keep you updated.